Hey everybody, welcome back to Stack Sacks. I'm John Swicky, where we try to make AI exciting, fun, accessible for everybody to hang out. So today we're just gonna take a quick look at a new chat GPD feature. It's it's pretty small, but I think it's actually gonna be something that could be impactful along the way. We did a previous video on the latest update about GPTs where you can customize, fine tune and create your own GPT. So now what they allow you to do, so you used to be able to have to talk to them inside their own kind of conversation, right? So if we go over here, let's make our window bigger. Now what you can do is you could just pat and hit at, it shows all the keys that are, I guess that you, wait, does it say it up here? Show recent and pinned GPT. So if you have it pinned to the sidebar, so if you use recently, it'll show up in this window here. So we can just bounce around, which is really cool. So we can say, hey, fix the KU, create a thumbnail for a video. Oh, okay. All right, let's send that off. All right, we started turning that off. We want to switch to, here we go, Prep Duty Tool Finder. Can you find me a note taking app that is over an Android? Here we go. The four, like where you had to do that single conversation. Being able to not leave the, your window or whatever you're doing to call in these little agents for you to maybe answer a question or do some other tasks for you. Yeah, I just think it's one of those small little things which actually I think can have a lot of impact and, it, and it's making me take more, take GPTs a little bit more. A little bit more seriously, but so yeah, we just want to show that off today. I thought this was interesting. If anybody plays around with it, has any thoughts, let us know, or if you have any sweet GPTs to try out, let, a, let us know in the comments, but thanks for stopping by everybody. We'll see you next time.